<clears throat> What's up y'all? Today I decided to make a video and this was for someone that I got on my <clears throat> on my YouTube channel and he said his mom wouldn't let him go his hell out so he had his hell for two weeks so today I'm gonna make a video Part 2 of how to convince your parents or your girlfriend unless you have long hair. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it, okay? Now, when he left me that comment of saying, when he left me that, that comment on my YouTube channel, I told him, I said, I told, I, but thinking, I was thinking in my head going like, you know what, I'll probably make another video about it. And this is part two of how to convince your parents or your girlfriend to let you have, to let you grow your hair along, okay? Now, there's a little bit of warning in this video, because there's a few warnings y'all will recognize. First warning y'all will ever hear, and this comes from every parent or girlfriend you know, Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it right now. Number one, your parents or girlfriend could probably be strict about hell, okay? And, uh, but, uh, there's a downside of that, okay? It is a big deal when your parents kind of, your parents are thinking, no, you should never do that. That's only a ghouls thing and other stuff. And, and some parents are like that. And girlfriends... There are some that are like that, okay? And believe me, there is. I dated a bunch of girls that were like that. And me, here's some tips that I have for some of y'all that are starting to grow your hair out long, okay? So, let's go on to the tips, okay? So, let's go ahead and get to the tips, okay? Tip number, I already went over tip number one, but the other one is, tell your parents or your girlfriend saying, look, I'll make sure I keep my hair clean. I'll take good care of it. I'll make sure I wash it every day. I'll make sure I use a lot of shampoo. I'll make sure I use the correct products that I get and stuff. And uh, they will understand it though. And some won't understand it to a point. But that's only up to the parents or the girlfriend in that opinion. But anyways though. Your parents can be... A little, some I know that some kids are going like going like my parents are so strict they won't let me do this or do that or anything like that and I mean there is people like that okay but don't don't panic don't worry okay I will help you with that okay believe me I will help you with that okay second tip is make sure you tell your parents or your girlfriend saying look I'll make sure I'll take good care of my hair I'll make sure I'll keep it clean and condition and stuff and they don't and they don't understand it, then just do what they tell you to do. Just listen to them, okay? And I know there's some parents out there that are very, very strict about hell on guys, but apparently, some parents are and some are not, depending on who you're living with, depending on if you're living with your dad or your mom or any other relatives you live with. There are some relatives that are all kind of strict on hell, but... Depends on what relative it is, okay? <clears throat> but number <clears throat> three is saying, okay, I get it. You don't want me to have long hair. I get it. I'll cut it, okay? And there are some consequences where parents and girlfriends are just like, no, we don't want you to do that. We don't want you to do this or do that, okay? Because there are some parents that are like that and some that are not, okay? Y'all believe me. I know a lot of parents there is, okay? So, so don't go all mean on them or go extreme on them like probably a bad guy or something. Just, just talk to them in a gentle way as, an, as a teenager or an adult, okay? Don't go up and make a big scene about it. This is poaching them like an adult, and if you can't poach them like an adult, then then you're not mature enough to have long 
how it'll grow it, okay? <clears throat> Especially kids that are probably 16 or 17 or 14 or 15 still don't understand what it's like to live with parents. I won't let you do that because I, I'm not, I'll tell y'all right now the truth. I, I was living with some parents that were kind of strict about my hair and some that wasn't. But, uh, after all this situation stuff happened with my parents and stuff, I moved in back with one of my families. And then after that, I ended up, I ended up punching my dad like an adult since I was only like probably, I think I was 17 or 18 or something like that. I approached him like an, like, like a regular teenager and an adult saying, hey dad, I want to grow my hair out. And he said, okay. I told him, I said, I'll take good care of my hair. I won't damage it. I won't change the color. I won't do anything with it or anything. I told him, I said, I'll take good care of it the, the best way I can. I told him, I said, I'll go down to Regis or any hairstyle's place to get a trim like once a week or so. And that's what they done. They would come, they would trim up my hair like once a week. And, and from the results, every time I got a trim, this is the results that I would get. See, like I get very good results with my trim and stuff. I get very good results, which I'm happy about it and stuff. But some hairstylists don't do a whole lot of good jobs with like hairstyles. It just depends where your hairstylist is or whoever's trimming your hair, okay? <clears throat> but right now, there's a lot of things going on that kids and teenagers don't understand because it is a number one important thing that y'all will notice because there's a lot of parents that are strict about not having hair and some that ain't. If you got those parents that don't care about your hair, then I got nothing to say. If you got those parents that that is strict about your hair, then just listen to what your parents say. Just listen, okay? You're probably either 16 or 14 or 15 years old still living with your parents and they still won't let you grow your hair out this is probably the best way i found it to be y'all and i'll go ahead and tell you all that right now okay <clears throat> now for my opinion was i was a i think i was probably i was in high school my junior year and i was like i'll probably start growing my hair and that's what i done done and, and what the number one thing that inspired me to grow my hair was probably a bunch of these uh movie stars like probably action people and probably other good celebrities that i seen that had long hair and I was like I was when I looked at some little celebrities and stuff I was like that's gonna be me with long hair one of these days that's gonna be me and when I saw that I was like I was like yep that's gonna be me I was inspired by it and I was still inspired by it to this day and I'm was still happy that I got a chance to to be expired by some of these movie stars and celebrities that helped me and it was <clears throat> actually a good thing because it made me feel good and I was happy about it and when I saw some of these hairstyles and stuff there was kind of one hairstyle that kind of tipped me off a little bit that I couldn't understand and I'm still since I'm 19 years old I'm still studying until this day about the top knot man bun look where they have like the whole front of the hair pulled back and they kind of have a like if i can do it my hair is long enough to do it but i ain't gonna cut like the whole thing off they take the front of it but what they do is i'm gonna try to demonstrate and show y'all what it is okay okay hold on if i can get it they do the top knot bun which is like this back here see it's just this part they have right here they have pulled back, which I don't understand, which, what the whole point of the hair is, like, what they do is, they, I don't remember how they do it, but what they do is they shave this side of the head from here to all the way back here, and same side on this side, shave it from here. That's what they done. But, I mean, it's kind of a <clears throat> cool hairstyle if you're interested in it, but... Me, I'm kind of interested in it, but not like a big fan of it. But, uh, I'm still trying to study it though a little bit, y'all, since I'm still, like I said, I'm 19 years old. I'm still studying it at a very young age, but I'm still 
doing some of that, okay? But don't get me wrong, I'm still doing that stuff, okay? Y'all believe me, I'm still studying on that, okay? Because there's a lot of parents and people that are kind of strict on and some that I'm not strict on, okay? So, there's some parents that I'm kind of strict about sometimes. But anyways, y'all, let me go ahead and get out of this darkness area because I kind of feel like y'all kind of having a hard time seeing me in this lighting and stuff. But let me go ahead and find a better place to put my camera, okay, y'all? This, this should be good enough, okay, y'all? So, we won't get into the lighting and stuff. But anyway, y'all, <clears throat> like I said, try to talk to your parents like... Adults approach them like an adult. You're not a five-year-old kid. You're not a six-year-old kid or anything like that. You're not okay. You gotta, you gotta grow up to a point where you can approach them like an adult. Okay. If you cannot approach them like an adult, then just forget it. You're not gonna be an adult. Okay. Believe me. There's a lot of there's a lot of kids that are probably 14 or. 14 or 16 or 15 years old still don't know how to how to approach their parents like an adult okay and it's a very hard thing for for kids to understand I mean very hard for the kids to understand very hard to understand y'all <clears throat> but anyways y'all there's some some <clears throat> adult there's some there's like a bunch of teenagers that don't know how to respect their parents like I said again because it's a very big deal especially the ones that are like very immature, okay? That's the biggest problem, okay? But, anyways, y'all, I'm not gonna go ahead and talk about all that later. I'm not gonna go ahead and talk about that all, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one, okay? But, anyways, y'all, there are some, like, very good things you could tell your parents if you want to grow your hair out, and that is, like, like I said, number one, convince your parents and say, hey, I'm gonna, I'll do the best I can to take care of it. I'll make sure I keep it clean. Condition. I won't mess it up. I won't mess with it. I won't make it all nasty or anything. I'll keep it clean and straight. I'll make sure I take a shower once a day. I'll make sure I keep it clean or anything like that. Make sure you tell them you'll keep it clean and you'll take good care of it. You're not going to have... Just tell them saying, look, I'm not going to do like all these other people do. Just tell them saying, look, I promise to take good care of my hair. I'll make sure to keep it clean. I'll make sure to use a product that'll keep it clean and stuff. But there is some products you can use to make it clean. And it does work. And I will go get them, get them right now. But I don't want to right now. So I'll go ahead and name these products. Okay? For y'all right now. So y'all know what products y'all need. Okay? First part you can need. We'll get a. First part you will need is get a good good conditioner shampoo okay I recommend using the tea tree special shampoo and what that is it's a shampoo that does work with dandruff if you got dandruff hair or something like that and it does help a lot with dandruff believe me it does it helped with my dandruff and what it does you want to get all in the scalp area all over here in the back and other stuff right here and once you get that you can start doing the locks and stuff you can start doing it like this or you can just do it this is the way I do it or you can do it like this okay just do it like that see you can do it like that and just rub your fingers through if y'all want to do that that's just the way I do it but that's just the way I kind of wash my hair y'all because that's the way I do it but that's the best way I find to do it as for me but it does help me though and it's really good for me to do that because it does help okay and some other things like if you want to go for like the uh there's one look i don't go for and i kind of do go for it sometimes on some lazy days but that's just me though i do go for like the uh, messy look sometimes i do or sometimes i just go for the nice and neat look okay but there's one product I do use, and it's a it's called straighteners. I know it's called straightener. It's like a straightener thing you put. And I'm, I think I'll probably go get that for y'all, so you can get, so y'all know what it is. But I'll go ahead and go get that to give that to y'all, so y'all can go buy it. Okay, so let me go get that real quick. Okay, y'all. This is the one that I'm talking about. It's called Smooth, as y'all can see. 
It's called Smooth, and it does smooth out your hair. Really good, it does. The way I done it was I did two drops on mine because the lady told me I need to do two drops on mine because the way my hair is right now to where it's at right now. Because the way I done it was I would take, I would put two squirts on that with my hands on real good, and then I would go like this. I would just go like that to get all the length over the back and then if you got enough put some like right here and just go like that if y'all want to just go like that because it will help straighten it out and not make it all poofy and stuff and it does work really good with a lot of <clears throat> hair if you got like curly hair or messy hair but if you have curly hair and you want to use this I don't know that much about curly hair, but it can help with your curly hair. I think it can, but if it doesn't work, <clears throat> then go to a salon and let them and let them help you and figure out which stuff you need to make it smooth it out. And does there is some stuff that does help it smooth out, and some stuff that doesn't. So yeah, there's some stuff you all will be interested in to find out. Okay, and a another one. Y'all, that is a very good way, and that is to buy your own hair brush, okay? Now, some of y'all, some of y'all are looking at me going like, buy your own hair brush? Why the crap would I do that? And don't, don't, don't get all hair right on me yet, okay, y'all? And let me explain why, okay, y'all? Now, the only reason you don't want <clears throat> to, the only reason you want to buy your own, own brushes because there might be somebody else's like if you use somebody else's hair brush you could probably get like probably like a lot of nasty stuff by using somebody else's hair brush so don't share hair brush with nobody else okay don't do that okay you don't know if that person has dandruff or anything in their hair because if you do it will mess up your hair really bad and it will believe me it will that's why you should buy your own hair brush. And I got my own hair brush, which I still use my own hair brush a lot. And I don't use anybody else's but mine. Because mine does work real good. And I mean really good, y'all. It works so good, y'all. And I'm happy the way that I got it and stuff. It does help a lot, y'all. And it's a very good thing, okay? And another good thing that y'all will probably know is we use another person's hair tie don't show a hair tie with nobody else's okay get your own hair tie that's what i got i got like probably a bunch of brown ones and a bunch of these black ones right here these the black ones were, were pretty good and they do work pretty good for me and you can get them either at walmart or or dollar general i prefer going to dollar general because it's cheap and it's easy to get them okay so dollar general has some pretty good cheap deals on some hair ties okay walmart kind of does and does not in my opinion y'all but whatever store you go to go get you a hair tie get some because because if you don't get a hair tie your hair will actually be in your face the rest of your day if you're having if you go to like a special meeting like if you gotta go to a special meeting with your boss or co-worker or anything like that you may want to Definitely pull it back because it makes it look professionally and if you don't pull it back it makes it look unprofessionally, okay? And especially for Especially for all of y'all young people out there with long hair another thing you will need and It does work and I normally use it too and that is Pull it back when you're on your date, okay? Pull it back on your date or whatever. If you don't pull it back on your date, then you got a situation where she's going to look at you and go like, why did he not pull it back? Why did he not pull it back to make it look nice and neat? And that's a big deal. There's some people that will put it down, but I would recommend pulling it up during the uh, probably the warmer season. I don't recommend pulling it back during the cold season because if you do you will probably have a hard time with it because during the cold season it'll kind of i think if you pull it back during the cold season your neck will probably get cold easily and you can probably get 
and you could probably get sick easily from it. So I recommend putting your hair down if you're going on a date if it's cold. But if your girlfriend or woman doesn't like you pull down, then you're going to have to explain to them, okay? That's the best way I can explain, okay, y'all? But another way I do <clears throat> find, and it does work a lot, y'all, and it does work pretty good, and that is uh, probably probably just just do the best you can to take care of your hair. If you can't take care of your hair, then I'm sorry because this is the best way I can help y'all with this video and everything, okay? This is just the best way I can help y'all, okay? But anyways, y'all, like I said, convince your parents or your girlfriend saying, hey, I'm going to grow my hair out, approach them like an adult, and talk to them gently. If you don't want to talk to them gently, then then I'm going to grow your hair out, okay? This is the way I've done it, okay? Number one, go up to your parents and approach them like an adult, okay? Just go up to them and say, hey, mom, dad, can I grow my hair out? And their response will probably be yes or no. So approach them like an adult and say, and say, I'll take good care of my hair. I'll wash it every day when I get done with football or any sport I play. I'll make sure I keep it clean. I'll make sure I take good care of it. I'll make sure I wash it every day. I'll make sure it doesn't get messy. I'll make sure it doesn't do all this nasty stuff. I'll make sure I keep it clean and take good care of it. And I'll do whatever y'all want me to do with my hair. If y'all want me to cut it or keep it, just talk to them like that, okay? And if they see it that way, they will kind of think about it. Because cause the parents, mom and dad will talk it over by themselves saying, You know what? I think he's ready. I think he wants to grow his hair on. I think we should let him do it. Let's let him do it and see what he thinks, okay? And parents will be like that, and some won't, okay? Because it depends on the parents on what they think, okay? Because some parents will kind of kind of go to a point where they're like, no, let's not let him do it. Let's just not let him do it. It's not something that he should be doing. It's just something he should not be doing as a young boy or anything. It's just going to cause a lot of... It's just going to cause a lot of distraction and a lot of problems but if your parents see it their way just listen to them and just talk to them the best way you can as an adult don't approach them like i um, like a rude teenager or anything like that just approach them like you would with an adult okay just approach them like you would okay i mean that's what i've done with my dad i approached him like an adult and talked to him the way i could and he let me do it and Looking back at it now, and here I am now making YouTube videos and talking about my hair, and and ever since I talked to him about it, it's just, it just changed my life and made me happy, and I'm happy about it though, and and I mean I'm happy this the way I talked to my dad. I was happy that he let me do it. I I kind of thought, in my opinion, he was gonna say no, but in his opinion, he said yes because I told him what I want. I told him I was gonna do this and do that in my hair and. And he saw me do it a lot because he knew I took good care of my hair and what products I needed to use because he just knew what products and stuff I was using for my hair. Because he knew <clears throat> what products and stuff I was buying and he and he was like, okay, you're doing a good job taking care of it. You're not messing it up. You're not doing anything with it. You're taking absolutely good care of your hair. That's what he saw in his opinion as a father okay but here comes a big problem okay and this uh, probably a lot of younger kids live with the moms and moms kind of get strict about hair okay so yeah moms do get strict about your hair just talk to them like an adult like i said just talk to them like an adult don't push them like like some mean dude just approach them like an adult and tell them you're ready okay just do it okay some moms 
we'll kind of go like, yeah, you can do it. Some moms will be like, no, you can't. So, if your mom or dad doesn't find this video helpful, helpful, or if you don't find it helpful, then, then I do apologize and I'm sorry that it doesn't help for y'all because, I mean, this was like a very important video for me to kind of teach the younger kids and younger people of how they were going to talk to their parents and stuff, how they were going to let them grow their hair out because there's a lot of parents that are kind of like that and some that are not, okay? So, there are some parents that are like that, okay? Y'all believe me, there's a lot of parents that I met that are like that and some that are not, okay? But anyways, y'all, I am probably will go ahead and kind of end this part right here and we'll go ahead and kind of show you what tools and what stuff you need for your hair, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about some of the tools and stuff that I have used, okay? And let's go ahead and get into it, okay? Number one thing I did buy when I started growing my hair out was hair ties like the brown ones. These do work. They'll pull the hair back into a man bun or ponytail and it does work. And you got the black one, which does work too. And then you got the... Uh, black silver one right here see i kind of got these these do work and sometimes they don't but they're okay to use though and uh oh yeah i got the gray one also which i don't know why i bought that for but oh well it kind of does work and doesn't but oh well and then i got some of these uh thick ones that i have and some of these do work okay these are not these will work to pull like if you're going for the top knot look these are like thick and these will work really good. So look at the comparison to this big black one to this one. Say the comparison this one does work, but this kind of go with the black one or brown one or gray one, whatever y'all prefer, okay? And another thing I do find helpful, and also another one that I did buy and these are a little bit hard to find, but they come in some hair ties and sometimes they don't. You can get these little bitty ones. You can use these if you want to like probably braid your hair. Like if you're going to do a French braid or any braid y'all want to do, this is the one that I use to braid my hair and it does work really good and it helps really good y'all. And it's a very good helpful tool. And some other ones I do have y'all and these do work. But these are kind of hard to find in some places. So let me go ahead and kind of show y'all what they are, okay? You got these two right here, okay? You got this big one. This big one does work to a point. This big one does work to keep your hair out of your face if you're playing soccer or or something like that. If you're playing like a soccer sport or something like that, this does work if you're playing soccer and it does help a lot. And then I got this black one. This black one does work too. But it's known to slip off your head sometimes, but it does work if you're playing soccer or doing a sport where you're running without a helmet or anything. These, these two do work, okay? Right here, these do work really good, okay? I have seen a lot of good, I have seen a lot of soccer players and people use them, okay? And it does work, y'all. Believe me, it does. It helps a lot, y'all. But, but anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end this broadcast and in this video y'all so before I end this video make sure you all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel become a member of the long hair update and if y'all have any questions or comments y'all want to make go ahead and drop them down below and if y'all have any tips or anything you want to give me or anything or any problems or anything y'all have for me let me know and I'll go ahead and make another one soon but anyway y'all I'm gonna go ahead and end this video y'all and I'll see y'all next time so make sure to subscribe and become a member of long hill update family and i'll see y'all next time